Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Brenna and today's video is all about some of my favorite names that you could use for a baby coming from popular TV shows. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you stick around. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out and it's free for you to do. So I would greatly appreciate that. Also, it'll make sure you don't miss any of my new videos. They come out on Mondays and Thursdays with themed baby name lists to inspire you. So hopefully this one inspires you with some great names. If not, it was at least pretty fun to put together to look at some, you know, names that come up in some of the most popular TV shows. Which ones do you like? I would love to hear your favorites down in the comments section below as we go through this video. I have made a similar video before about specifically Netflix show baby names. So if that interests you, I'll leave it linked in the description box so you can go ahead and check that out once you're done watching this video. But this is not this video is not contained just to Netflix shows or any specific platform. So just some popular shows and names that stuck out to me. I have girls names and boys names. We'll start with eight of my favorite girls names and then move over to eight of my favorite boys names. Let's go ahead and jump into it. The first girl's name I have for you is the name Phoebe, P-H-O-E-B-E, -E, coming from the show Friends. This character is known for being a bit silly and free spirited. This name is currently at its most popular that it's ever been. It's peaking at this very moment. It's actually a name that shows up in the Bible in the New Testament and it means radiant shining one. So Phoebe really has a lot going for it that I think could draw people in. The second girl's name I have for you today is the name Aria, A-R-I-A, -A, coming from one of my favorite shows, Pretty Little Liars. Haven't watched it in a long time but it was really fun when it was coming out. This character is known for being artistic and intelligent despite making some questionable choices at times. This name also shows up in Game of Thrones, which I haven't seen, but my understanding is that it's spelled differently. So there are a few different spellings you could play with if you like this name. This name fits into a lot of the classically loved girl name tropes or styles, whatever you want to call them, that are tried and true. So it starts and ends with an A, which has historically been popular. And it also has the traditionally feminine IA ending, which is a favorite of mine. From the show Desperate Housewives, I really like the name Edie, E-D-I-E. -E. In the show, at first, she's not the nicest character. She's sort of depicted as someone who's trying to tempt and seduce other women's husbands, but she definitely has character growth and the tone changes later in the show. This name has a traditional vintage nickname feel, which is definitely a hot trend right now. It began as a diminutive of the name Edith, but I prefer Edie all on its own actually. Next up, I have the name Leslie, L-E-S-L-I-E, -E, from the show Parks and Recreation. She is the main character on this show who is known for being hardworking and ambitious and optimistic, despite working with local government, which might take those character traits out of some people. Historically, this name has been a gender neutral option, so you could use it for boys as well. It is a Scottish place name and last name, meaning Garden of Holly. So it could be a really fun and appropriate holiday time baby name if you're looking for one of those. And the structure of the name Leslie is a lot like these vintage nicknames we're seeing coming back to bring it up again, but names like Millie, Lottie ending in this IE, Leslie has the same feel. Next up on my list for girls is the name Peyton, P-E-Y-T-O-N, from the show One Tree Hill. I have never seen this show before in full disclosure, but my brief research tells me that Peyton is a character who is a talented visual and musical artist. I personally have heard this name just as much as a first name as I have a last name. As a sports lover myself, it reminds me of the Peyton Brothers of football. This name has been in the top 100 for girls for the last 15 years and it peaked at spot 125 for boys back in 2007. Coming from the show Sex and the City, I have the name Carrie, C-A-R-R-I. -R -R -I. 
Known for being an independent and optimistic fashionista, Carrie is the one who narrates the episodes, the show, <laughs> Sex in the City. This name originated as a diminutive form of names like Carol and Caroline, but is certainly given on its own now as well. In fact, it was even a top 20 name back in 1880. Some people have been turned off to this name following the publication of Stephen King's novel called Carrie back in 1974. So another one of my favorite shows is Grey's Anatomy, and the name that sticks out to me is Addison, A-D-D-I-S-O-N. Addison Montgomery in the show is an OBGYN who's depicted as hardworking and sassy. This name is a pretty recent newcomer to the charts. It just debuted in 1994 in the top 1000, but then really shot up there and has been in the top 50 for girls since 2006. It seems that people really love the nickname Addie if you go with Addison, and I can't blame them. It's super cute. Last up on my girls list is the name Penelope, P-E-N-E-L-O-P-E, -E -E, coming from the show Criminal Minds. This is the first name of the character in the show who often is just referred to as her last name Garcia. Penelope in the show is incredibly smart and very caring. This name has jumped over 900 spots in the last 20 years. And because of its length, you have the opportunity to use a lot of different cute vintage nicknames like Polly, Nelly, Poppy, Penny. It could go on and on, but it does offer so many options there. I love a long, elegant three or four syllable name, even though I could probably never use one with my long last name. So those are eight of my favorite girls' names from popular TV shows. Now I've got eight boys' names for you, starting off with the name Chandler, C-H-A-N-D-L-E-R, coming from the show Friends, just like our first girl's name did as well. Chandler Bing is well known for his sarcastic and witty sense of humor in the show. This is a gender neutral name option. It is a French occupation name for a candle maker. I didn't mean to do this on purpose, but the second name on my boys list comes from Pretty Little Liars, just like the second girl's name did. And that's the name Ezra, E-Z-R-A. In the show, Ezra is a very complex, well-intentioned, at times mysterious character. This name actually made its way into the top 100 boys names following the debut of the show Pretty Little Liars. Of course, it's impossible to prove cause and effect, but it does seem pretty interesting. This name has the long sought after rare Z letter that people love, and it actually shows up in the Bible as well. So there's a lot of different facets to the name Ezra that I think could make it appealing. This next name I have for you for boys is the name Frasier, F-R-A-S-I-E-R, -E coming from the show Frasier. And I have to admit, I had never heard of the show, honestly, until my husband started watching it. The main character of the show, Frasier, is a radio psychiatrist who's well known for being a bit uptight, but also sophisticated and cultured. F names in general are not highly used, so this is definitely a unique option. This is a town name that hits on the hot category of place-inspired baby names. Next up, I have the name Landry, L-A-N-D-R-Y, from the show Friday Night Lights. In the show, Landry is a nerdy, funny, easygoing guy. People don't really take him too seriously most of the time. The meaning of this name is Land Ruler, which is kind of cool. I was interested to learn that the name Landry is actually similarly ranked for both boys and girls down in the 900s. This is one of those names I think personally is unlikely to be shortened or given a nickname, which is really important to some parents. Coming from the show Glee, I have the name Finn, F-I-N-N. -N. This is the name of the main male character who is pretty much the picture of going against the grain and doing what you love, embracing that despite what other people are saying or thinking. He starts out as this sort of jock football character, but that 
then ends up in the Glee Club, in the Glee Club, which is a singing group, and he ends up really enjoying it. I do love a one-syllable boy's name, as evidenced by the first video I ever put out on this channel, being one-syllable boy's names. This is a pretty new name in the conversation because it just debuted in the top 1,000 in the year 2000, but over the past five-ish years, it seems to have been at a plateau in the 100s. So I'm interested to see whether it climbs any higher or if that's sort of its ceiling and it's not gonna climb any higher. The next name I have for you is Dexter, D-E-X-T-E-R, coming from the show Dexter. And he is objectively not a terrific person because he's a killer, but he's very intelligent and intentional. This is a very edgy option with the rare X letter. I think the nickname Dex is equally strong and striking. And this name also has the ER ending characteristic of many occupation names, which are very trendy of late. Next up, I have the name Cooper, C-O-O-P-E-R, which is a last name that stuck out to me as a great first name option as well from two different shows, actually, Mad Men and Big Bang Theory. And since I've never seen Mad Men, I'm going to focus a little more on the Big Bang Theory side of things. So Cooper is the last name of the, I'm not sure it's a main character because they all sort of play a lot of play a big part, but it's of the character Sheldon. His last name's Cooper. And Sheldon is well known for his brilliance as well as his quirkiness. I really love the nickname Coop. I think it's just really cute and fun. This name is pretty high in the charts. It is in the top 100, which really doesn't surprise me because we are seeing a lot of love for names with O vowels in them. Names like Noah and Oliver that are at spots two and three right now. The very last name I have for you on today's list, my very last boy's name coming from a popular TV show is the name Preston, P-R-E-S-T-O-N, coming from the show Desperate Housewives. This is the name of one of Lynette's twins, and to be quite honest, he's not distinguished much personality-wise from his siblings, just because there is such a large cast in the show Desperate Housewives. This name fits into the popular mold of two-syllable boys names ending O-N-A-N-E-N, -N -E -N, like a Logan or a Mason. Preston fits right in there. Interestingly, this name has been ranked in the top 1,000 ever since name data started being collected here in the U.S. in 1880, and it's been pretty steadily between spots 200 and 400 for most of that time. So it seems to be a really enduring option that's in that sweet spot of names we're familiar with but aren't super common right now. So that is all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear some of your favorite names coming from popular TV shows down in the comments section below so we can chat. Again, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next time.